Hi, my name is Rochelle Grubbs, and I'm a Big Data Solutions Architect. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today to take a look at MarkLogic. I wanted to get my arms around this NoSQL database technology that uses XML leverage points like XQuery and XPath. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that can lead to some pretty cool discoveries about the data in your organization. I've prepared two examples today. First, we're going to take a look at a very simple example in the Query Console. I've loaded up some Shakespeare plays, and we're going to execute some simple XQuery to return data from the records. Next, we're going to use that same information and build a web application that runs XQuery. So from there, you can start to see the power of the environment, still running XQuery, but doing so from a web application, and how that will give you the ability to create all kinds of complex applications for your users. So, let's get started. On my screen here, I'm in the Query Console, and on the screen you can see my very simple query. Now, first of all, I want to take a look at the data. So, I have some data loaded into my database, and you can see here the XML that makes up my data. Now, if we take a look at this query quickly, we can see that this is simply a query to go through each of the records and return the speaker for each play and the lines for each speaker. So if we go ahead and run that, it's going to go out and select all that information from the first hundred records in my database and display that information on my screen. So here we have the information. This is the speaker and this is their line, the next speaker and the next line and so on. Now, if I want to make that a little prettier, I can go over here to the right and choose Element and Display via HTML so that it applies the HTML tags. But that's pretty much it. But I think you can start to see you could do some very interesting queries, but uh, you certainly wouldn't be writing fancy applications here. Now, but if we take that same information and pass that to a web application, we can do some very interesting things. So first of all, let's take a look at how I set that up. If I go here in my app servers, I set up an app server that I called Shakespeare. And in that Shakespeare app server, we had to define some basic information. So we have Shakespeare as the name, we have the root directory or uh, root document directory as xQuery, the port we're using is 8010, and then lastly, of course, the database that we're going to access the data from. So from there, I have uh, some queries that I've already set up. So if I bring up my uh, editor, you can see in here, first of all, let's go to my default query. So in the default query, I just set up a default query so that I knew if my application server was running. And of course, I have to do hello world because you have to. And uh, I also added some information and I appended uh, the version of MarkLogic so the server is going to respond back to me with my text string here and at the end my version number. So first of all, let's make sure that our app server is running. So I have a uh, just Google window here and if I go to my app server, localhost8010, and uh, lo and behold, it returns, hello world, this application is running on MarkLogic server version 7.0-2.2. So now we know that the application server is running. So let's pop back over here to our editor and let's take a look at our uh, simple application. So we have uh, two xQuery uh, scripts. We have the first one, which is our search, and that's going to prompt the user for the speaker to search for. So unlike our query that we ran from the Query Console, instead of returning every speaker and their lines, I only want to return the lines for a specific speaker. So I'm going to prompt the user for the speaker and then pass that information to the results query and then return the lines for that specific speaker. So if we run that guy, we're going to execute our search xQuery and let's check out the lines for Poet. Click on search and there we have it. So here's each of the lines for that particular speaker in all of the plays that I have loaded in my database. 
Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you make it a great day.